WPBF 25 News at 11 starts now. Breaking news first at 11. A jury deliberates for six hours and convicts a Port St. Lucie man of beating his two-year-old foster son to death. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 11. I'm Todd McDermott. And I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Jurors found Michael Beer guilty on a lesser charge of aggravated manslaughter in the death of Tristan Adams. Paramedics found the boy unconscious in Beer's home back in 2014. We go to reporter Ari Height, who's live in Fort Pierce with a reaction on the verdict from attorneys on both sides. Ari. Yeah, Michael Beer had testified in his own defense, and he had told the jury earlier this week that he had no idea how his foster son had died. But tonight, the jury told him they believe he's responsible, and they found him guilty of a charge of aggravated manslaughter. Let me go ahead now and show you a picture of the child that was killed. This is back in 2014. His name is Tristan Adams. He was only two years old when he died. Michael Beer was his foster father. Doctors testified Tristan was beaten to death, and prosecutors say since Michael Beer was the only one home when it happened, he has to be responsible. Responsible. After three days of testimony, the jury found Beer not guilty of child abuse and guilty not of the murder charge, but of what's called a lesser included offense of aggravated manslaughter. We knew that, that, that due to the nature of the evidence that this would be very difficult. We didn't shy away from it. It would have been very easy for us to, to, you know, to seek to try to resolve this case with a lesser uh, sentence, but we didn't want to do that. The verdict to me is doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm not sure how they reached that conclusion because they, they found him not guilty on one charge, but then found him uh, guilty of a lesser on another charge. So I'm not really clear on how they reached that conclusion. Michael Beer was immediately taken into custody after the verdict was read. He will be back in court on August 13th to be sentenced. He faces up to 30 years in prison. We're live tonight at the St. Lucie County Courthouse, RE High WPBF 25 News.